Hello there, VC. I'm Gary, and this is Physical Format Rock and Roll. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, yes, this is another contest video, but uh, this one is for my good friend, my one of my newer friends, and this is Sam St. John. Uh, Sam is a wonderful young man uh, who is in the VC. Now, he's all about uh, Americana more along those lines he's not really into like any uh, metal or things like that but uh, he likes more like I said Americana folk uh, some country uh, one of the things uh, that we both have in common is he really likes the monkeys and in particular Michael Nesmet uh, as do I uh, love the monkeys and Michael Nesmet so it's great uh, he has a lot of knowledge on that and uh like myself he's he's seen them in concert so uh not only is he very knowledgeable about the music that he likes uh he's he's a talented guy he sings he plays guitar he even writes some songs i know he does live streams occasionally um where he plays some songs and uh he just seems like an all-around pretty good guy. Uh, that's why I'm doing this, is to support him um, on his contest. As you notice, I when I do contest videos, I very rarely talk about what the prize is because generally I don't care that much. Um, that's up to you to go check out Sam's channel and give him a sub. That's what it's all about, and you can find out the rules uh, and everything and what the prize is. I, I do it to support him. I do it to uh, support friends that I have in a vinyl community. Uh, Sam's doing really well with his channel. It seems to be growing fast and you know he's trying to get it to grow a little bit faster by having one of these contests. I know uh, I think he said one time that he started this channel to you know try to get chicks uh, or whatever. I mean that's his word not mine. Um, I don't know how that's going for him. I know, you know, he's a talented, young, good-looking kid and everything. Uh, I, I do know he seems to get some comments on his videos about how dreamy he is and how wonderful his hair is and things like that. Now, granted, that's generally Glenn Calloway who's making those comments, but still, that's got to count for something, and I imagine that Sam's pretty happy about that. So, cheers to you, Sam St. John. His contest rules are show the last five artists, albums, whatever, that you listen to. So that's what I'm going to do. I know that uh, generally I'm always showing vinyl for the most part, but uh, my first couple of things here are going to be CD. First off, I've got The Quest by Yes. This is the latest studio album by Yes. Um, I will show you, this is who is currently in the band, yes, still has Steve Howe, uh, so it still has some credibility, you know, you're never going to confuse this album with the early classic, yes, that a lot of us love, uh, those progressive, uh, rock classics, but, uh, this does have some uh, good songs on here. Opens up strong. Uh, it's got some kind of weak moments too. This is, you know, a, a bit of an up and down album for me. I am still digesting this sucker, but there are parts of it that I like. Uh, definitely I've got to be in the mood for it. But if you're a big fan of Yes, uh, if you're a bit of a completist, I would definitely recommend uh, this album. Next up, is Future Past by Duran Duran. Uh, believe it or not, this is the first album or CD, cassette, anything that I have ever bought from Duran Duran. Uh, you know, back in the day, you know, unless you were some kind of Nancy boy or whatever, guys like me, we didn't listen to Duran Duran, even though we might have liked some of those songs we heard. But uh, I picked this up because Jeff Witcher talks about them a lot, and uh, he mentioned this album, I believe, and I like it. Um, you know what? It's I, I love this song, Invisible, uh, Give It All Up, 
Future Past. That's a really good uh, good song. It's it's a uh, you know I mean it's got that Duran Duran kind of sound, but it it um, I don't know. It's got some new wave elements in here. I like the vocals on it. I just like the sound of the record. It's kind of a dreamy sound at times, or sometimes it reminds me of like of a James Bond kind of thing. So, Duran Duran, Future Past. Uh, next up, this is an older album. I think it's from like 95 or something. And this is Caius and the Circus Left Town. This was actually a gift to me by Aaron Mutha Alamere. This is what the kids call stoner rock. And uh, it says John Garcia in it. I don't really know anything about Caius. I just know that I kind of like this album. It's pretty cool. Uh, the music on it, it, it kind of sounds a lot like early Black Sabbath to me. The vocals are different, though. Uh, it's just, it's, it's a cool feeling kind of record, you know. It definitely has its own sound and... Uh, I dig it. Caius. Next up uh, that I listened to was Transcendence by the band Berlin. And this is, of course, Terry Nunn's band. This is uh, a later, this was their last release. Actually, this came out, I think, like in 2020, I believe. Uh, pretty good. If you liked earlier Ber Berlin, you're probably going to like this. You know, definitely synth pop uh, music. And uh, I just, I, you know, her, Terry Nunn's voice still sounds just as good as it did uh, back in the 80s. Um, you know, if you haven't gotten anything by Berlin in a long time and you used to like them, I would definitely recommend this album, Transcendence. And then uh, finally, from a band that I love, UFO, The Monkey Puzzle. This came out in uh, 2006, I think. And uh, this is just one of those overlooked later day UFO albums. And uh, this is, you know, the last album to feature Pete Way uh, on it. You can see pretty much the classic lineup there, except, of course, you've got Vinnie Moore on guitar instead of Michael Schenker, but Paul Raymond's in here. Uh, Andy Parker, this is when he rejoined the band on drums, and of course the wonderful Phil Nog is on here. This is just a really good rockin' album. Uh, you know, if you're somebody who doesn't really know much about UFO and you just like hard rock without it being like, you know, real heavy, like a metal kind of thing, this is, this is a band for you, UFO, man. They just, they sound good on here. Phil Mogg's voices, his vocals are lower uh, than they were back in the day, but it, it just sounds good. It just makes them sound more badass, really. Um, I highly recommend this. This is kind of one of those hidden gem albums. So, The Monkey Puzzle by UFO. Hey, man, those are the, uh, the five last artists that I listened to, and uh, they're all good. So anyway, hey, go sub Sam St. John. You won't be sorry. He's a great guy. Uh, Sam, I'm glad that uh, I've gotten to know you, and I appreciate your support of my channel. Keep making those awesome videos, and everybody go over there and sub him up. Till the next time, my friends, I'm Gary. This is Physical Format Rock and Roll. I will see you down the road.